I think my favorite uh, YouTube channel that does that is Infinite Solutions. Um, the one where they did the parody of like how to recharge um, batteries by taping other batteries to them. Um, and somebody <laughs> pointed out something really funny where... Uh, or the channel the to pretend has, you can microwave your yeah. smartphone to, to recharge it. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, but somebody pointed out something really funny about the Infinite Solutions channel. If a mathematical function is infinite solutions, it's completely useless. Yeah. So the YouTube channel is like... Um, and that's not, that's that's being a little bit generous. There are some functions that have infinite solutions that are very useful. <clears throat> In the fields of like linear algebra are the ones that I can think of. But still, it was very... Um, you know, before I became a YouTuber, I never like hedged my bets by saying things, thinking to myself, like, I'm about to say something that a pedantic person is going to give me shit for. But now but you I just constantly did that. think about it. And now I constantly do it, and it's really frustrating. All you can think about is the pedantics that are going to just be the worst people. I, yeah. <laughs> That's why I literally you ruined stop society my... person we're talking about. <laughs> you did it yourself. Imaginary person that I hate. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you know, I, you I know literally what's, just You like... know what's not pedantic is the problem pedantics create. <laughs> Fuck it, I literally just like undercut the point I was making so that I could like hedge my bets against pedantic people. Yeah, and yeah that, there is really there is technically a situation where like because there's infinite because because of how numbers work. Uh, yeah, if, <laughs> if, if you're describing a plane <laughs> and stuff like that, well, it's just the idea like yes. if you say that infinite it, it, like having infinite solutions is useless, it, it goes saying it that way it implies that all answers would be correct for the equation, but the reality is that like right. everything like there are infinite numbers between numbers. So there could be infinite well, answers that are correct between a certain range or something like that, for example. It's not even but, that. It's literally just like there are some. If you're describing like number spaces and stuff like that, having infinite solutions is perfectly normal. But yeah, um, it solves our problems. What's that? really? Was it? Does it have infinite mine. solutions? I <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, I got you harder than I thought it would. Oh okay. God. I've got a flamethrower mech, so those shield generators don't bother me anymore. Bird might be the Just single person I'm most capable of making laugh. <laughs> yeah. It's because we... It's because you know. You just know what makes me laugh. <laughs> if you were a girl, I probably would not date you. <laughs> Knowing what I know about you and your... Um, huge amount of maleness. That's definitely a bit of a problem. You're huge maleness. <laughs> no, 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 Wait, no, no. That wasn't what you were going for with saying that? No! <laughs> but now I feel horrible. <laughs> it literally was the only Why implication you, you made. Funny. Okay. Fuck it, Hector. I am flamethrower. You can't hit me, bitch. I am oh, so dead. Me. My health just That's disappeared. I'm not entirely sure why. Like, you got hit by the fucking mothership. That's oh, what it was. I was in the middle of the city, so I couldn't see anything. Yeah, the mothership just put, pooped a laser just in the middle of the, the city. World. So <laughs> that would be it. I've got a I've got a housemate that apparently thinks that I have a girlfriend because I've been outside lately, <laughs> and they think that the only possible reason is because I have a secret girlfriend. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm, unless it's Andrew. <laughs> Uh, I go to Andrews to record, and then also I've been watching movies this week because there's actually movies to watch. And uh, they're, and they're only it's very hard to conclusion. resurrect you when a Hector is standing literally on top. Of no, you. it's un understandable. I've got some guns that are shooting it right now, so that's good. I'm currently trying to kill the seven thousand flyers that came out of nowhere. I got some guns that are shooting those too. I fled the scene that's to grab cool. health pickups. <laughs> I'll bring you back to life. But I need the help really can. bad. Is he underground right now? What's going on? I. Herb, oh. no! <laughs> Brought you back to life and died. Ah, I blow up immediately. Get up, bird. <laughs> I was I was drinking my beer. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I could tell from the hmm <laughs> that you made. <laughs> the very, like, I'm a drinking a thing right now sound. <laughs> All I need to do is get into this alley and I'm safe. You oh, know how hey, many I'll people back. I've known in my life? who have said that if I was female, they would date me. <laughs> Way more than I'm really How comfortable How many women? With. Um, none have said that. <laughs> Those were women. But I've known, like, three men that have been like, if you were a girl, you would be, like, my type. And I'm just like, 
That just means that you're their type. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> that just means that I'm your type. I don't know if they thought that through. No. Motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it, my mech is on top of this building. Well, I guess I'm not getting my <laughs> mech. I yeah, remember or watching you I? during a stream on the first night and you walked up the wall with a spider tank and, hell and fall out and it's like, oh, it's just up there now. <laughs> it's never coming down. Yeah. I, I tried chucking it so it would land outside the alley. I'm going to see if I can blow up the building. Alternatively, if one of you guys can blow up this building, that's also good. Uh, I can't blow things up is hard. I can kill uh, five things. I don't know we're really where I feel comfortable doing yeah, it's right okay. now. It's okay. I'll live. I'll live. I don't necessarily I've know got, where it is, and I'm trying not to get killed. I've got the gun. <laughs> Ow. Turns out, turns out one of the uh, few things that is Ignore not lay. limited in terms of ammo are my, like, weird drop-down turrets. So uh -huh. I can just uh, plop them and then just run off. I wonder how much collateral damage the EDF causes. Maybe they, Maybe it's evacuated. Um, well, I'm still blowing up their houses and shit. Oh, yeah, you didn't say casualties. Oh, yeah. that's a laser. That's a big old fuck you beam. That's the new excuse yeah, that every superhero movie uses. It's like, this city's evacuated now. Because they don't want to yeah, have Yeah, the, that, that's how they can they don't want, start really blowing shit up. They don't want the blowback that yeah. Man of Steel got of like, wow, Superman killed the, like, billion, t like thousands of people in this movie. I'm so glad yeah. they actually addressed that over the course of the the second movie. The Dawn of Justice. Yeah. Because watching Man of Steel, I was so pissed off about the sheer number of people that got killed. And the fact that nobody had once said a goddamn word about it over the course <laughs> of the movie. Yeah. But I also hate that Superman was an idiot. He was a stupid yeah. mixed idiot pants. Wow, you really apply a lot of knockback to the Hectors. Yeah. They are... They are limboing <laughs> like, when you like at the them. end at the end of the movie he's like i ha he, he has the realization that he has to kill zod in order to save those people so he has to break the superman code of not killing which they never established as being a thing in that movie in the first place so you don't even know that he's superman breaking doesn't even code. have a code of not killing does like, he no he, he, no yeah him him killing somebody is the entire premise of injustice it's the alternate universe is based on the entire uh -huh. that superman actually killed somebody because he kills the joker for killing lois lane i think yeah and wow, that, lead, that, that leads to an alternate. Bit too that leads to an alternate future where the worst shit ever happens, basically, and all the superheroes are murdering each other. <laughs> uh, but so he's not supposed to kill people, just like Batman. But they, so they uh -huh. break that code in the first movie, but they never established it in the first place. So you don't even know that he's breaking a code unless you already know the comics. But uh -huh. what's really dumb is he's like, he saves the guy by breaking Zod's neck. But like, if he could break his neck, that means he had complete control over what direction Zod's head was facing, which means he could have just not. He could just point the laser away from the family <laughs> without killing Zod, because apparently he can control Zod's head enough to break his neck, which means he could also just nah, Zod, make him not point Zod at the family. Just has like a like a weird bone defect where his like L ones through L twelves are fused into a single rod. Yep. <laughs> Zod's neck has two settings: neck and <laughs> neck and dead. <laughs> <laughs> neck and dead. I mean, when you put it that way, everyone's neck has two settings. If not, I digress. if not neck equals dead. Ow! I popped I'm out of my back. Take this. It's also a I movie about right. Superman becoming known to the society, but he get, he's willing to let fucking Papa Kent get murdered by a tornado for no reason, so he could be a secret for like another year. <laughs> yeah. That. What a great legacy. Uh, what a great father figure teaching you to be afraid of yourself and never let anyone know who you are deep down. <laughs> Zack Snyder movies are great. <laughs> yeah, he can write words. <laughs> if you're together. one of those people that looks at X Men as being like a metaphor for homosexuality, then man, you could, you'll take the worst lessons if you watch if you look at Superman that way. <laughs> the secret is to fear yourself and fear society and never let anyone know who you are deep down. Remember, repression Even if it means letting your family die. Destroy the yep. <laughs> Stay in that closet for as long as possible. <laughs> and then when you're out of it, go back in it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just keep sticking with it until you resent all of society and are willing yep. to let a lot of them die just to win. <laughs> yep. Man, it still is a great movie. <laughs> yeah, I guess that really does kind of sum up the morality of that movie. Huh? <laughs> it's really wow. Fucked, it's a really fucked up movie. That is a terrible yeah. Superman movie, especially. A little really thought a bad it through, movie. but wow, it sucks. 
Like, it's already a fundamentally terrible movie, but it's a terrible Superman movie. <laughs> <laughs> Superman's supposed to Superman's supposed to be what we got from the Captain America movie. He's supposed to be the genuine Boy Scout of the other mm. universe. <laughs> but instead he sucks so hard. And he screams and he cries and he murders people. <laughs> and then he lets random people die because he's it's edgy he's like an e convenient. he's edgy hot topic Superman. <laughs> Turns out you can't make an omelet without breaking a few morals. I wonder when, um... Nah, I don't, I don't wonder that anymore. <laughs> no, finish no, it. No, 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 Finish it. I was finish gonna say, it. I was, uh, like, when, when we're gonna start seeing, like, uh, basically the 90s repeat itself with the superhero movies Edge where... Edgelord pocket people that have too many pockets like, everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a billion pockets and all, like... all their feet are off camera. I feel like I feel like the the that's a little too literal of the point I was going to make, but yeah. Um, but I, I feel like the like Suicide Squad movie and um, like Man of Steel are starting to pave the way for us there, and that would suck to repeat that all over again. Yep. Oh no! I watched loading. a video of Stan Lee talking to Rob Liefeld and Rob Liefeld's um yeah like writer. I saw that too. Oh my god, that movie, that video is funny. Yeah. Where Stan Lee is just like, I ah, drew an awful lot of cables on him. Yeah. That way he can trip when he runs, right? And they're just like, <laughs> so how, how long does it take for him to put this on? <laughs> like yeah, he's, just, he's, he's just ripping into their art while they're making it in front of them. Yeah, they're drawing this stuff in front of him, and he's just like, And, he, and he's simultaneously well, making really fun of how many parallel storylines and universes <laughs> they have, and everything about the yeah. universe of, the, of Marvel Comics. He's like, I'm really impressed that you managed to draw a superhero in 20 minutes. I mean, he's terrible, but you still did it. And they used like, him in a real comic oh later. God. Yeah. They literally used him for real. I think we watched the same video. <laughs> well, yeah, because it was on Reddit, if I remember. <laughs> it was really, really funny. Pretty it's great. It's like one of the best videos I've ever seen. Stan Lee was a sassy, is a sassy dude. He's a sassy kid. Choose mm -hmm. loadout. Can equip that was a good video. Mm -hmm. Where was I thinking of going? Wow, he sure uh, sure doesn't do a lot of talking with uh, all of his guns, does he? Nah. <laughs> yeah, the kids like him with having a lot of guns and stuff. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> it's basically like every minute of that video. Uh, a thing in mind that I can't think of what it is. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, it's a tragedy. Uh, are you okay? That's what you sounded like. You're like I can't think of my hair. Are you okay? Lady Bird is not okay right now. Annie? <laughs> Deploying. Annie, are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh my god. Pokemon sounds you don't want to hear in HD. Krabby. <laughs> God, that is what Krabby sounded like. Yeesh. Oh, God. What about Mr. Mime, but they get like... Like, whenever he talks, it's like all sexy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime. <laughs> performed by Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrifying. Absolutely horrifying idea. Forward because instead I'm drinking coffee. There we go. You can have a uh, Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> do the voice of basically any Pokemon. I, love I was these gonna spiders. say Articuno. The spiders are like so slowly jumking through the air and hit him with the yeah. shotgun blast that makes him fire fire off like 500 <laughs> meters per second in the opposite direction. Like, gravity works completely differently after they get hit by a shotgun blast. I'm a coo now! Because they jump in. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever seen the, uh... Every Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Pikachu! Pikachu! <laughs> you seen the Gilbert Gottfried, uh, celebrity, uh, squares or whatever, right? Uh, I mean, I used to watch that show. My parents were like, why do you watch? You don't even know who any of these celebrities are. I'm like, I like Mr. T. 
So yes, I did watch that show. <laughs> but did you see the one specifically where he like went into double overtime and like was just ruining everyone? No, I really want to see this though. Look it up, it's amazing. I, I've never seen Celebrity Squares, but I've seen that episode and it was magic start to finish. That sounds, that sounds effectively, awesome. <laughs> effectively, uh, I, I don't even know the premise of it, but you're like supposed to guess something, but yeah. they're like so far off the mark and he's just non-stop making so just throwing much fun shade at them. them. It is beautiful and it goes for like, you know, 10 minutes over time and they're like, okay, this is God, like we really have to stop. He's like, no, you're getting, you are getting this. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> We're not moving forward until you get the question right. We're not done here until I make fun of you more. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> God, the, oh, the God. Wii, the Wii games of Celebrity Squares are so garbage because only they don't the, get the celebrities. Only the middle person's a celebrity, and they'd have pre-recorded yeah. jokes. Mm -hmm. so, like they have very few oh, questions the because they're all pre-recorded, and then yeah, all the other I've people in the that. square are 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 me's. That's right. I remember. It's, it's so bad. It sucked so much. Like they take one celebrity and they cut their face from a bunch, of the, and they're recording from a bunch of different actual episodes, basically, and just cut mm -hmm. and paste them into the center in the, the center square. The Nintendo Wii was a mistake. Had so many goddamn misfires. So I've been, even misfires were worse on the Wii if they were on other stuff too. That's like true. What's been blowing my mind lately is like a while ago I played through Sonic Unleashed with Andrew and it was a train wreck nightmare. Despite the fact that we were playing it specifically because it was supposed to be the good Sonic game and <laughs> that didn't work out. Uh, didn't work out at all. But uh, lately Game Grumps are playing it on the Wii version. And it's like, you know how like people make a, ad a adaptation of a video of a, a video game adaptation of a movie? Where it's like the movie's uh -huh. unrecognizable, and like they'll randomly show a scene out of nowhere of the movie, but there was no build up to it, and then they cut away back to the gameplay that has nothing to do with the movie, and like it's just a total disconnect, and it feels yep, like some I... sort of rushed nightmare project. Uh, so the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed is like a, is like a video game adaptation of a movie, but the movie the is fuck? the Xbox oh, no. 360 and PS3 version of the game. Hey Keith, can you? Wow, help me? that sounds good. Like, it'll it'll straight up show pre-rendered cutscenes from the from the other version of the game. Oh, hey, I'm free. Sweet. I'm just trying yeah. to shoot everything. Like the game Do looks I, like. I just had a really weird thought. I, I got the, by one like the, the game has completely yeah. different and you get, like, uh, graphics. Yeah, it has completely well, yeah, different it graphics and a completely different campaign. And like different levels, but then we'll arbitrarily show like basically like the equivalent of like machinima from the original game. Like it'll mm -hmm. it, they'll take uh, cutscenes that are running in engine on the other platforms and pre-render them to show them in the Wii version, so they show the same cutscenes. But the context mm -hmm. is gone, and even the level is gone. Like there's a part where was it uh, Tails is being accosted by enemies. And uh -huh. it's like, oh, it's a boss fight time. And then you beat the boss fight. Then it cuts to like the scene of like Tails being like, "You saved me, Sonic." In the Wii mm -hmm. version, you don't play the level leading up to that, so you don't know why the scene the scene is there. It just shows mm -hmm. Tails being accosted. Then the cut the cutscene ends, and then it cuts directly into the cutscene of being like, "You saved me, Sonic," with no boss fight. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> it's just wow. It's like, at, ti at times, they just show all the cutscenes from the other version of the game without the gameplay. So it's like. <laughs> it's like those Kingdom Hearts HD packs that have where one of the three games is not a game but a weird movie version of the game. <laughs> but it's an adaptation okay, of, a, a weird of thought, the other consoles but, platform. <laughs> but hear me out on this. What? Andrew Wilson as Pikachu. Oh, this would be my impersonation of it. Which Andrew Wilson? No, Ash, you dumbass! I'm not going to use Thunderbolt. He's a flying <laughs> Pokemon. I can't use. I can't hit him with a Thunderbolt. I'm going to. I'm gonna use Swift Attack, you Stupid. idiot. <laughs> I, I, I will that is it. Who is still as Pikachu? I, I'm gonna have to put my foot down here a little bit. We got to get out of podcast mode a little bit because I'm like actively trying to la uh, like uh, do tactical things in game, and it's just like, nope, it's podcast. I'm like, but I need help. Here There's no something. tactical stuff. We just should blow it up. Yeah, what is the tactical stuff I that you want to do? I was used to a building for like a minute straight, and I'm like, Keith, can you just turn to the left and blow up this building? And I Keith's shot just stuff. like so, <laughs> so Sonic <laughs> and uh, the Black Knight. <laughs> The podcast is literally the one thing people say they like about the series. <laughs> Just talking about <laughs> bullshit. I mean, I'm down for that, but sometimes you gotta be able to get a word in edgewise with you. And you can't. Yes. Yes. 
I'm giving you practice for shell. <laughs> it's enough like practice for shell. He lives a shell. Yeah. No, yeah. He, no, he, he needs there. he needs shell life coach. I don't. <laughs> shell I don't think needs I need life coach. Oh no. Ow, god damn it, I can't- I always told you guys about me. the running gags that's happening at this point where Andrew- Andrew has such a white name that, like, every game we play, we just have Andrew Wilson's in the credits. So he's in the credits we'll of, like- We'll come back to that point, but we're talking about the game now. Specifically no. the fact that I've been killed. I'm on so my way. Oh, no, I'm not. Up. I'm under attack now. Uh, do we I gotta, just, like, yeah, quickly let's just restart, restart this one? Why would we restart? We because I'm dead and I'm stuck under Hector. We can just fix it. It's fine. That's, that's, but I'm under Hector. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing I'll, unsolvable I'll come get you for it. about this I'll yet. I'll come get you in my my shitty slow tank okay, thing. Okay, now this might okay. be a little harder to salvage. <laughs> I like, oh you know, God! You gotta. We gotta wait. Okay, until let's restart. Keith is having a bad time. I yeah. didn't. I never said anything about restarting, but I was definitely becoming aware of the Hector problem. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch back to the uh, the Ranger. Yeah. I like the Air Raider, but he is just significantly less. Um, <laughs> I love your effective. I love your stupid weapon name. I what, don't a fork? see you. <laughs> fork A15. Yeah. yeah. It's a. It's a great. Uh, <laughs> it's a great weapon. It uh, fires 25 rockets at one dude. No, the guys who the guys whose weapon name is I don't see you. I don't know what you're talking about. It's your weapon. Fine. Yes. Oh, you're right. It is. <laughs> I never pieced that together. It's got a really stupid name. <laughs> huh? The dumbest name ever. It's it, great. It really is actually <laughs> quite stupid. Really dumb. You're right. Their defense is strong. Focus fire and wear them down. Where are the time. Hectors? Uh, they're on the ground. They're just dumping everywhere. on the ground. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I was trying to get close start. to the flyers to hit them, but then I looked up and realized I was getting ah, pummeled oh God. by Hector. Jesus, my health's gone. Wow, Hector's are bullshit. Yeah, dude, Hector's are really mean in this mission in particular. Yeah. But it's, it's been a funny ongoing thing because uh, Andrew will always break every game we ever play in ways that seem impossible. And then they'll be like, they should have hired me as a playtester, and then he shows up in the playtesters. <laughs> like, his name shows up in it, and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, because he's got a really generic name. Yeah, so like, Andrew Wilson his is constantly is... a playtester name and stuff. His name is two first names, of course it's gonna show up everywhere. Yeah, his name's also the name of this CEO of EA. That's funny. Or it's Activision, I don't remember which one. One of the two big yeah. companies, like CEO, either current or recent, was Andrew Wilson. <laughs> Made headlines really confusing. How would you feel if it turned out he was, in fact, like the CEO of like some major game company who's just been fucking with you this That'd entire time? That'd raise so many questions, and I'd ask him where the fat suit is hidden. Like, Andrew is a <laughs> tiny, frail enough person that he could fit inside of the costume of a real person. Yeah. Like, that's conceivable. Rude. How much does he weigh? Like, a hundred pounds or something? Yeah. God damn. He's looked like a cancer patient for the entire time I've known him. Uh, same here. But, I mean, that's less <laughs> impressive because I've known him for a shorter period of time than you have. I mean, you, you primarily <laughs> see him as a cartoon character, which is literally two-dimensional. And weighs data. <laughs> height, hey, weight... Hey, bits are slightly more expensive. Uh, wait, what is your height God, and weight? God damn it. 300 pixels, 32 kilobytes. <laughs> I wonder if there's Someday like a... when waifus become real, we'll uh, we'll have to deal with that sort of. But they are real. They're called Diamakuras. I wonder I if there's like a really bullshit statistic out there somewhere of the like yes. average weight of a uh, pixel. Uh, if I remember, like it's under, it's almost impossible to measure. But like, yeah, um, like a one weighs a tiny, tiny bit more on a magnetic hard drive than a zero. Because I've heard something. that before, and I'm like, I wonder if somebody's like ever sat down and just started collecting really bullshit this statistics on dumb Facebook. things. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess if you take if if you take a pixel, which is going to be 32 bits, and then you say you assume that half of them are going to be ones, then I love you'd be able to figure out the weight of a pixel. I love watching the spiders data. just cartwheel across the map. Yeah, they're they're. I love watching everything die. Yeah, it's pretty great. The, uh, the death physics, just the explosions in this game. Pretty satisfying. Yeah. 
I just wish they had Dark Souls ragdolls as opposed to stand in your way ragdolls. Yeah, yeah, the ragdolls are actually really frustrating, especially in the um, tunnel sections. Yes. Because I tend to hit those with my grenade launcher and then get really crabby. Yeah. And I get really dead. Yes. Yeah, the rest of the rest of you suckers die. I just I just miss. Hey, speaking <laughs> of Cookie Cookie, whatever happened to Cookie Crisp? Cookie Cookie. They still, they still make Cookie Crisps. They just they, he it, stopped he stopped being the little fat dog and turned into a, like a skinny wolf now because apparently sugary cereals are about health. <laughs> Ever since Tony the well, Tiger decided to be some some sort of weird like army recruitment ad, I mean they they've been trying to like. Uh, you, you ever see the earn your stripes thing for uh, marketing campaign for Tony the Tiger where he looks like it's a oh. like a it, it, it straight up looks like a boot camp. No, I have no way, idea what you're talking about. Uh, if you guys have guns for it, we need to take out these transport ships, I believe. Oh, we have to kill the transport ships. Okay. I, I no. assume since they're not moving. I've been trying to kill the Hectors and stuff, because... That is fair. I, I've got a rocket the Hector. Yeah, I've been mostly pushing amount. back against the stuff that's actively murdering me. Okay, yeah. I'll keep working on the transports. I didn't know if you guys were uh, available to Are take Are the transporters them. making Hectors, or only the other things? Uh, I don't think the transporters are dropping Hectors, no. Oh, then the Hectors are definitely priority. <laughs> yes. Because more ranch is whatever. I, I want to say that one of them is spawning Hectors. I don't know. I don't know. Well, one transport's down, at least. Yeah, got that one. I've been trying to hit the other ones, but unfortunately they're a fair bit farther away. Yeah. Because I don't want to get, like, underneath them, because heck... Yeah, okay, this one's down. Good. Oh, yep, two down. God, yeah, as soon as, fast. as, as, soon as I can get underneath one, I can usually kill it pretty fast. It's just like... These, ones have, have a lot of, these ones have a lot of bonus HP, compared to the oh, ones we've been Because uh, uh, What was that, a mothership laser? Us, I was... I pumped, I want to say, like, 30, 40 rockets into, and this is an upgraded rocket launcher. Never had cookies for us. Is it good? It no. seems like it would literally just be cookies and cereal. Like, really I thought it was great really? when I was six, but it's terrible. <laughs> it's so you know, bad. Uh, you know, you know it's what also a cereal though. that's better without milk. Because <laughs> really? milk just I, makes I, it I worse. I, I found it needed milk because it was just too dry. At that point, oh, I yeah. it it tastes better Bye without cookies. milk, but also without milk, it's razor blades. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just razor you know nightmares. Crave is actually, like, rather decent. But that's uh, just, like... That's just, no. like, uh, corn... Well, I saved you, Keith. I'm ragdoll... <laughs> I am ragdoll man. Burb, no, you are pain. Yeah, I'm dying, but I'm also trying... Because I'm flying to victory. I was trying when I met you. Not very hard, Keith. Now I'm dying to forget you. I mean, you oh, forgot fuck. us the first time after you met us. So. <laughs> that, oh, I'm fuck. gonna die. I am going to die. I am dead. That's fine. Yeah, we got I'm plenty near, of I'm like right here. all over the place. Maybe I'm not right here, actually. You look far. You're, yeah, your icon's not getting closer. <laughs> I thought you were close by. Oh, look, ants. I'm, I'm getting closer and so far as I'm stuck in an ant's jaw. Oh, still? In your death oh, state? Oh, yeah, actually. It, it chews you for, like, a good 30 seconds. Oh. Yeah, they really... Yeah, okay, these Hectors are still spawning. Somebody's... Oh, there is a ramp over here. I'm like, how do I get to you? Hello? Somebody Why? is... Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Definitely well, dropping Hectors uh, here. Oh, shit. Give me up quick <laughs> because oh, dude, we are surrounded by the fuckiest... Oh, oh. Everything behind me was so much worse. Go. Everything oh, in front of well, me isn't much better. I'm about to die. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'll try to help you. I'll try to kill these uh, ants, please. Must get over the hump. I'll just pelt there rockets we go. into that general vicinity. The canal makes us so much safer because it's a thing to hide behind that can't be blown oh, up. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh, There's I... this levee. I guess it's called a levee. Anyone got a Chevy? <laughs> that quiet... <laughs> Just moan. <laughs> that was me saying no, but also, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> well, it sounded like. Okay, there goes uh -huh. another one. Drove my Chevy to the left.
Excuse me. It's very hard to sing songs that have been covered by Weird Al and sing the right lyrics. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking about. It's all, it's damn near impossible. Maybe later, so maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. Um, Which isn't like shitty lyrics, left. honestly. It's not great. Yeah. Oh, well, he did. He didn't have a story. He like pieced it together. Yeah, he had to make a and he had to make a billion lyrics because it's a long ass song that has like no repeating lyrics. Yeah. But that the chorus isn't great in that song. <laughs> I yeah, I guess I don't know. It's like he a classic in my mind. Well, yeah. I saw Weird Al live. That was amazing. He's so at the grocery right. store or like his house? Um, I definitely Shit. stuck into his bathroom. Ah, well that went bad. How does soap taste? I found the Hector's. Um, you know, it tastes pretty soapy, but uh, once you get past that like outer layer, you get more soap. I'm just imagining, like, <laughs> what would be the weirdest thing for like a uh, a stalker to like be interested in breaking into your house for? Because there's like uh, to collect your dog poops. Oh, yeah, I can see that. I wonder if somebody like. Was obsessive about no, they, they grumpy collect, cat to consider they that. They collect your eye crust. <laughs> like in the okay. mornings. That's <laughs> Ew. There's two hectors standing inside of each other over me. Yeah, so that's like extra I'm fucked up. I'm trying to take them out before I come and get you because I don't want to deal with them. Phasing through each other, it's the most unstoppable thing Luckily, ever. Luckily, since they're directly next to each other, I can hit them both. Now that now one's ragdolling inside the other one, so that's fun. Yeah. Well, I know a very interesting fact. These spaceships are invulnerable to damage when they're closed. Uh, even if I uh, clo get closed within them, it still won't uh, let me hurt them. Ah. <laughs> Not what you were expecting. How was that? I wasn't even looking in your direction, so I didn't even know you were arriving. Oh. <laughs> I was coming over to res here. I was hoping you were watching, being like, yes, finally, and then blew you up. This last Part of gift. transport ship is so freaking high in the air. Yeah. Why does the slope uh, have to be so steep? I want to go up there to see if there's loot. <laughs> it takes so uh, And bird. What's up? Well, I, I mean, Ooh. I like I need health and stuff, especially because of what you did. I'm really trying really to prioritize to getting this spaceship because I'm the one who can fly. I mean, I can uh, I can shoot it fairly reliably, actually. Like oh, okay. I've got. Straight shooting, uh, straight shooting fast rockets. I can hit it from here. Okay, I actually locked myself inside of it, so I can perch here while it um, is closed up. So recover, recover my jetpack fuel, and then uh, when it opens up, I can kill it. Tell me when it opens up, so I can start pelting missiles into mm. it. Because that is that thing is high. There's a lot Probably. of spooners. and they're all bad Dark Souls. <laughs> Can you imagine if Dark Souls had like a EDF version where like it would be stupid? They're fast and jumpy, and you're like trying to hit them with your sword, and they just go straight over you. Oh, it would God. be stupid, but it would be magic. Oh, nice, you got like it. Like every enemy would be the equivalent of the weird little imp things from the Castlevania that bounce everywhere and, and uh, irritate the shit out of you. Those the Eeyores. God, I hate those the, things. The single most infuriating enemy outside of like Medusa heads. Yeah. I love the Castlevania music. I love the Castlevania games. It is games. so good. Oh yeah, the, the music, the understand. visuals, the gameplay, everything about Castlevania is great except for its company. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. I don't every understand half the good Japanese franchises. How Castlevania soundtrack can be so NES-y and so goddamn amazing at the same time. It's just bleepy bloopies, but it's like the secret ingredient was love. Unbelievably good. Yeah, there was certainly a lot of it that went into that game. Now there's a sellout show coming. Oh, both went down. Yeah, we're done. Damn. Yeah. We're chewing through them. Yeah, well, when I get right up in their biz, I can yeah. do a lot of damage. It's just very annoying because there's a lot of hectares and ants <laughs> that make that very difficult. Isn't that... Uh... I need to listen to the various Castlevania soundtracks. I've never played any of the that's Castlevania. That's the first games Castlevania. Oh, okay. That's the, that's you, the wow. second you song you hear after, like. I want to play something in the night. I'll, 
Probably once I'm done with Metro, I'll put it if up we, as uh, yeah. a consistent option. If we all had the right console, we'd get together to play the multiplayer Castlevania. There's, There's a multiplayer, a multiplayer one? Castlevania? Yep. What is it? Castlevania yeah, Harmony of Vita or something? Oh. Uh, it's on, uh, it's on both 360 and, uh, it's on both 360 and PS3, and you can play as any, almost every prot protagonist Man. of the entire franchise. I like Castlevanias. Huh. I don't like Metroidvanias. And the For four of you co-op together and, and, you know, clear yeah. a, a procedurally generated dungeon with a boss fight and everything. 